Hello crafty friends, Mary here with another journal uh, idea for you. Uh, so today we are uh, going to make a carnival scene using some simple magazine cutout for, for the composition. So bear with me and let's start directly with the background. Uh, I'm gonna use this new set of uh, uh, washi tape. I bought them on Amazon. Those are from the brand Agugu. Agugu, yes. And the set is Millet Graden. Uh, if you want to have the link, just let me know in the comment and I will put something down in, uh, in the description box as well. Uh, those I found really on Amazon and are pretty cheap and I wanted to have something to start the page, so I wanted to have some uh, script in the background and instead to have some stamping I decided to use this set and I like it a lot. Then uh, we are gonna put some gesso on the whole page but I don't want to have uh, to have it too heavy. I want that, uh, that the, the, the toned paper that I have on the background is still seeing and also the wash tape still barely seeing. So I'm just gonna put something with the brush without adding water to be honest but then I'm gonna smoosh a little bit using a baby wipe and this is gonna give uh, um, let, let's say the, the gesso to be a bit more transparent so then it is not gonna be white uh, heavy heavy white let's say you will have some transparency and while i'm doing this one on camera i just wanted to say that i'm sorry that i didn't post uh, any video for the past two weeks to be honest this one i recorded almost uh, a bit more than two weeks ago and uh, i just uh, couldn't have the time to do the editing and the voiceover because i got busy at work and then also some busy stuff at school we were preparing the, um, a table for international day so a table dedicated to italy and it took me a <laughs> bunch of time to do that a bunch of my free time to do that and uh, but it it was uh, it was nice and satisfying in the end and my son helped a lot and now basically this week i need to take everything off and that's it <laughs> and it's done basically already ready to take everything off <laughs> let's say uh, and I, so i missed a couple of friday off and so that's the result but okay no worry here is the the project that i wanted to share it with you again two weeks ago before carnival but and ended up now and okay fine <laughs> So uh, let's move on with the page. So uh, after doing uh, all uh, of that, I'm just gonna uh, have it, the page dry. So you can do, you can dry just uh, in air and just wait a little bit, but I'm impatient to be honest and I want to have it fast, ready and move on with the, the rest of the project. So I'm, I don't have a uh, heat gun, but I'm using my just regular hair dryer and it works pretty well. So now when everything is dry, I just want to add some detail on the background and I want to have some grey there, so I just make the grey using, uh, using my acrylic paint, I just mix the, the white and the, and the black and just having some stripes here and there with the, with the grey. And again, I'm not precise, this is really, uh, I like the background that is kind of messy, <laughs> messy, more or less like me, I think. Uh, after I also those is dry, then I wanted to have some uh, yellowish on the page. Uh, so I went on my stash and I found uh, uh, this distress oxide ink. Uh, this is antique linen, linen, linen. Uh, and I'm just mushing directly with the with the um, with the ink pad, and then I'm adding a little bit more yellow with distress ink mustard seed. After that, I leave it uh, the page to try, and then we are gonna choose the page from the magazine. So we need to choose uh, a face, a front face, and cut it. And I want to have uh, her face uh, looking at us uh, with uh, her lip closed. That's uh, the main reason that I choose this page. And then I cut it. I remove the eyes, and I put everything uh, all a, a first layer, let's say, of uh, um, white uh, acrylic paint. And I was not too heavy because I wanted still to see the, the line, uh, where is the mouth and where is the nose. So that's basically what I did right now. And this is going to be the mask. So I'm going to prepare to decorate this mask uh, similar to what we have usually in, uh, in Venice. 
is uh, in uh, during carnival so you know those kind of masks that uh, they are beautiful to be honest but every time that i saw them i, I think they're also kind of creepy <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you experience the same i mean we don't have we don't use usually this type of mask uh, in the south when we do carnival at least when i was uh, um, a, uh, a child i mean i had just uh, festive and colorful mask but i always like those kind of masks again because they are very nice very very cool but also very very creepy so i decided to decorate it adding some doodling and my main color are just uh, blue and yellow so again i went to my stage and i uh, took what i have with those base colors so i'm using the dark blue is faber castell pit artist pen this is indan train blue number 247 and then uh, i have the yellow again faber castell uh, pit artist pen green gold number 268 and uh, i'm adding also some light blue again with faber castell pit artist pen sky blue 146 adding few lines here and there and uh, some doodling uh, you can see here some uh, lines and i wanted to have her lip in yellow but i'm gonna add even other colors soon and i just have some lines and then i went for some dots i didn't have exactly in mind uh, how i was about to decorate the mask but i wanted to have this uh, doodling line coming again from her cheek and then going on the front head that was the main idea and i wanted to have the blue all around her eyes uh, then uh, since uh, I think the pale, the light blue was a bit too light, so I was using also the Posca pen. Uh, this is light blue. I don't think I don't think there is a number for this. This is just a pack that I had uh, in my stage uh, with uh, different color, but I had a light blue. And uh, then I went again back with the Faber Castell, adding few dots, and I'm gonna do the same also with my golden uh, acrylic paint marker. You don't need to, but uh, I like it to have a bit more reflective the yellow, so I just added a few more lines and dots with uh, um, that too. And when I'm satisfied, but you know, if you are here for a while, you know me, I'm kind of never satisfied with the detail, but at a certain point you need to stop, <laughs> that's the point. So I'm just uh, uh, gonna stop and uh, put this one aside and move on with the rest of the page. And here is basically the mask that this is going to be the, the focal point of, uh, of our, uh, our journal uh, scene or page. And it's really easy to make as you see. So it's just uh, take again one uh, magazine front face, a big one, and then decorate basically. And that's and you have your carnival mask. So after doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of detail that we lost uh, having the white acrylic paint. So a little bit uh, black on the nose and on her lips. And that's it for the focal point. So I'm just gonna leave this aside and then gonna work again on the uh, background on the page. Now it's gonna be the funny and the maybe silly, silly part. So I'm gonna take some cutout that, uh, that I found in the magazine with different uh, uh, material and color. To be honest, I, I, I don't care what is in the, in the page. I just uh, want to have uh, uh, what is important for me is to have the right color so I'm kind of uh, uh, choosing uh, uh, pages uh, pieces, pieces of the pages with um, light gray or really pale blue and then blue and dark blue and some white that's the base and you will see I'm just gonna put pieces and pieces uh, here and there so here is how I'm building uh, basically the rest of the scene so again I'm cutting a little bit of pieces I have uh, something on top of a red to have as a kind of hat um, and then her dress because again I don't know if you're familiar with the Venice Venice mask but uh, it's uh, they are basically the people that uh, wear those masks they are all covered with the clothes I mean, you can not see anything any human part even the ends they are, they have gloves on that so that's basically what i'm going there to do there just chooses choose pieces to have uh, the the dress to dress her 
Uh, now I decided to have back her eyes, so like she is really uh, wearing a mask in a carnival, in a, for carnival, and so to help me, I just uh, uh, draw her uh, uh, eyes bulb in um, in a piece of magazine. This is basically the cutout that we had for from the mask. So those are her hair basically. Uh, so then I have a base where to uh, glue uh, the eyes, and then I can glue on top uh, her mask. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm rebuilding uh, her face, basically. But to be honest with you, so I like the, the, the composition, so to put her back uh, the eyes, but I think it was better or a bit more creepy without her eyes. I, I don't know, maybe just empty or very dark black would have work a bit uh, better for me. I don't know, just let me know <laughs> if you prefer like that or in the other way. I, I think I would prefer in the other way. But I kind of uh, try to solve the issue later on. So now it's basically to build really the the costume. So I'm just gonna use again all the Faber Castell uh, marker that I was telling you before. So the the dark blue and the light blue. And I'm gonna add some line and smash a little bit, uh, smear a little bit with my finger because those are uh, Indian ink. But uh, you have a little bit of time before. Uh, it dry permanent to uh, move the color around and this is gonna uh, soft, uh, soften a little bit uh, the, bag, the, the, the clothes let's say that uh, I put there, the magazine cut out that I put it there so you will not gonna see so much like you see now that those are really pieces of uh, um, pitch, uh, magazine <laughs> cut out I mean you can see um, her hand over there uh, on, on the top of uh, her head there is a scene with some uh, green and some uh, um, I think there are trees I don't remember it was a garden and scene with the um, with people dressed with jeans so you can still see but slowly adding the tail with the tail uh, adding color with color you will barely notice and that's what I like to, to do with the magazine cutout because you can really transform anything basically in whatever you like <laughs> the important i think is to choose the right color that uh, that uh, it's uh, matching with the, what you have in mind so i'm again i'm using as i said the faber castell first as base so you will uh, um, sm smear smear easily with your finger so then uh, it will uh, avoid to see ash line of the picture that are below and then adding uh, some detail again with the same faber castell as well but uh, uh, i'm gonna use in this case extensively the um, uniposca markers because those are acrylic markers uh, markers so they, they are opaque so you cannot see anymore what is under it so i'm just adding some lines as you see uh, with the light uh, um, blue and then uh, the, the darker blue that i have on my set adding some lines and some dots this is basically what is going on there so you can barely see anymore that uh, those are magazine cut out now since uh, um, i have that white uh, piece of paper uh, on, on top of her uh, i just i wanted to add some uh, um, lines there and i didn't want to have the blue so i used my uh, uh, trustful and wonderful uh, Stabilio all uh, pencil black ma black uh, pencil that is wonderful so I just put a little bit and then activate with water and you can see how dark is this uh, black and that's uh, I added also in the eyes and uh, this giving a better look to to the whole face but again I think it would have been better without her eyes at all so just all black kind of empty uh, I don't know, empty mask, very very creepy <laughs> anyway, I like the result to be honest so this is basically the focal point and now I'm just gonna move on the other side of the page to add some quote and that's basically the page, how, how we tend I'm not sure about the quote to be honest but I had to rush because my son, I had to pick up my son quickly so I just pick up something that uh, kind of like it uh, from Pinterest as always I took from Pinterest and uh, I just uh, wrote it down as you can see very very quickly in kind of small different style but uh, without paying much attention and I'm using again the Stabilo all and then activate with water and I'm not really uh, precise with that I like to have those lines kind of creepy lines like the old page basically <laughs> kind of creepy I think it was good with the, with the rest of the page 
and that's basically it uh, i hope that you like it i will put some uh, close-up picture in the end as always and if you like it so far or if you watch it so far just put an emoji uh, in the comment below just put uh, a, a little uh, mask uh, uh, emoji so i will know that you watch till here <laughs> so you are really brave okay thanks a lot for watching i'll leave you with some music and close-up picture in the end see you soon <laughs> bye bye